Okay, so like we mentioned earlier, in the structure of an atom, the electrons are arranged in electron shell. And the first shell, like we mentioned, it has it will consist of the maximum of two electrons, second shell will be eight, and third shell will be eight electrons. So the electrons in the outermost shell, we actually call them the valence electrons as they are the ones that are responsible for bonding of the atoms. The number of outermost shell electrons actually affects the stability and the reactivity of the element because if it doesn't have eight electrons in the outermost shell, then it will have to bond with another atom to gain the eight electrons in the outermost shell. Okay. In the last group of the periodic table, we have this group of elements called the noble gas. They are very non-reactive and very stable because they already have a full outermost shell of electrons. Example, for helium, it has two electrons in the first shell and it's already full. For neon, it has two electrons in the first shell and eight electrons in the outermost shell. With eight electrons in the outermost shell, it's considered full. And for argon, it also has eight electrons in the outermost shell. So hence, the noble gases are very unlikely to share, lose, or even gain electrons. All the other atoms of all the other elements will try to attain this electron shell arrangement of a noble gas as it is the most stable state. And hence, that is why all this sharing, gaining, and losing electrons happen. Okay, when the atom attain the electron shell arrangement of a noble gas by sharing electrons, we actually call the bond covalent bonds, and this usually occurs between two non-metal atoms. So example, we have our water, H2O, H being a non-metal and O also being a non-metal. We have methane, also CH4, carbon is a non-metal and H is a non-metal. Hydrogen chloride and ammonia, they are all examples of covalent bonding. For substances that are formed by covalent bond, they usually have low melting and boiling points and are not good electrical conductors. Okay, hence, if we look at the example given below, we have our hydrogen chloride, which is bonded by covalent bonding. 